Greetings, and welcome to Rob Hart Drum Studio. Today, I'm going to be talking about an idea phrase that I learned from the great Tony Williams. I was fortunate enough to study with Tony towards the end of his life, and what I call this technique is a left-hand hi-hat sweeping motion. I'm also going to be inputting actual audio tape footage of those lessons into this video. So let's get started. First I'll start off with doing upbeats on the hi-hat, closing my foot on the beat and opening on the third partial of the triplet. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh So the next thing I'll do is I'll sweep my left hand over onto the snare drum on all the beats and so what I'm doing is playing the third partial of the triplet and the first partial of the triplet. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and... So then what I'll do is I'll play the bass drum on the second and third partial of the triplet or the and uh. One, two, three and uh, four and uh, one... So what will happen is the bass drum and the left hand will overlap. So here's the bass drum and the hi-hat and the snare drum parts. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and... Uh... So the next thing I'll do is I'll play that phrase over the ride cymbal. One, two, three, four. So another thing that Tony did a lot of is he played quarter note triplets between the snare drum and the hi-hat. And what he did is he sweeped his hand back and forth between the snare drum and the hi-hat, opening the hi-hat on the upbeat quarter note triplets. One, two, three, four. So the next thing I do is I add my bass drum playing quarter note triplets opposite my left hand. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. So then I'll put it together with the ride cymbal. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. Here's some words of wisdom by Tony Williams in regarding applying these ideas in a musical context. It's just people just gonna think you're just playing stuff just to play stuff. It has to be in a certain place in the music, it has to mean something, it has to be somewhere. You know. It's not just drum licks. No, it isn't. You know. I mean that's that's what I've been, that's what I've built my playing reputation on it, you know, that it isn't just technique and licks, it's about quality and taste and listening, and if you're listening constantly to yourself and constantly to everybody else, you'll pick and make good decisions. 
Thank you very much. I hope you've gotten something out of this video. Please check out my website, www.robhartdrumstudio.com, and I am giving Skype lessons so you can contact me through my website. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as there's going to be a lot more videos coming up. Until next time, keep practicing. Yeah, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not here to play perfect. I'm not a perfectionist at all. I'm after excellence. Excellence is what I strive for, and I can only do that if I'm happy and relaxed, and and, and, and I know that, that I can play. I know I can play the drums. I've never had a problem playing the drums, so I'm only telling you these things because I've never had a problem.